Hello there, welcome to an intro where today we're going to be waiting for this piece of sugar cane to grow. Th this might take some time. I I'll cut out some bits of the recording. W while, while we're here, if you fancy subscribing, that that'd be nice. Did you know that some people aren't subscribed? Oh, look, it grew. Wow. Let's start the video. Welcome back to X Life, where today's video is all about justice. Justice for Jeremy's. Last time we were violated, someone renamed our Jeremy's, including the OG Donkey Jeremy. And today we're going to be doing some detective work. In fact, let me quickly change outfits. Much better now I'm in the detective mood. Now I've been doing some research and our main suspect is Dang, that's a long name, or as he likes to call himself, Scott. Now why would I think this? Well, there's a little bit of evidence pointing in his direction, and that evidence being in his video, he shows himself renaming all my Jeremy's. Very, very suspicious. But I still need more concrete evidence. Aha! A clue. I've detected a lectern. It says, I have information on who hated on your Jeremy's. Meet me in the dark alley behind the big tree in the center of spawn, near the notice board. This makes me believe I have to go to spawn and find a dark alley near the notice board. Let's take the outfit off for now, as we want to avoid suspicion. H hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? Hello. Oh gosh. I, I, you got my note. <laughs> hey, how's it going? What's, what's, what's this? Immediately I felt I was in danger. Why would my lead suspect invite me here to give me information? This is the secret discretion area for top secret information. I didn't know what a discretion was, but I presumed it was similar to a discussion. I see right. you're wanted fosters, Joel. Yeah, right. So you said you have information for me? I do have it. Do you have the diamonds though, Joel? I, I do not actually have the diamonds. You do I not? I can give them Yeah, go get later. the diamonds. Oh. No, go get the diamonds. Scott seemed very keen on getting my diamonds, almost like he was about to confess and then take my diamonds. How many did I say? 50. Oh. I say 50. I'll do it for 25. All right, nice. I'll do that. Should I just put them in the chest? Yeah, put them in the chest. All right. So, Scott, okay. what's your information? I see you've taken okay. it already. So, I think I know who is renaming your Jeremy's. Oh, really? Who, who is it, Scott? Man, I'm a good detective. Getting information out of my lead suspect. <sighs> but I still need to know who did it. It's me. I renamed your Jeremy's. I knew Jeremy's. it was you. I knew it was you. What is this? You're rubbish? the one. You're the one who named my things I first. Can't believe, you can't, see, I knew it was you, and I still first. gave you the twenty-five diamonds. Oh, this is Scott. You know what? I'm not. I'm not talking anymore. This means war. This means. I'm gonna, You've also I'm, dropped a card. Is this for me to? Or do you want? Yes. To I don't. I don't. Oh wait, no, that's mine. There you go, you can have it back. There you go, I've got it. You, I, See, Scott, I only took half the diamonds. Yeah, okay, I think, but still, Scott, I'm not happy. Saying, Scott, this is not the end. Don't, you don't get to talk here. Said, Scott, no, you don't get to talk. I did. No, you're, no. Your sign says any information. I had information. It was me. Oh, <laughs> you can't be mad at that. You set the rules. I played by them. I am not happy. Scott, this is the end. Goodbye. I... Oh, that... I've just given 25 diamonds and he's renamed my Jeremy's. Oh, well, we're gonna have to do something to get him back. So all in all, a successful first case. We have found our culprit. Yes, we may have paid him 25 diamonds and yes, he may be walking free, but that is what you have to do for justice. Anyway, let's uh, let's get on with the rest of the episode. Whilst I was doing my detective work earlier, I also noticed an arrow, very similar to the one I left outside of Jack's house. Also this, what is this? Got wood? No, well now you can get some at spawn. Ooh, wood shop, I like that. Okay, here we go. This is 15 pages, Jack, what's going on? He says that the sweet release of death could come no sooner, to be honest. Oh my gosh. He's got, how many pages of terms has he got? What? Okay, right, let's read through all of these quickly. I would like my mountain to be made to look prettier and include the following. A waterfall, which my fish don't kill themselves on. A cliff face that my dear pets and friends cannot escape, right? A palace, a place suitable for my new whale to live. What the heck? Within the mountain, I request a fully operatable hell shelf enchanting it. Jack! A giant statue of myself in real life stood proudly at the top of the map. What? Beautiful place for my good friend Shredder the dog to live. Five stacks of diamonds! Jack, this is ridiculous! Please expand my area towards the stone. Ten golden lasso things so that I can collect new friends. A seven heart clubhouse at spot. What the heck? How much does he want? And finally, you have to let me borrow yours and your wife's gold play buttons in real life so that I can use them for a video. This one would have been redeemed for a while. That is ins- what, what, what do you guys think? Sh should I do all that? That's a lot of work. My gosh. I'm not so sure. That's a lot of stuff. 
I think we're going to have to bargain with him in a bit there because that is like 20 hours of work he's just given me there for to be able to kill him. What do you think, Donkey Jeremy? Should we do it? He, he can't speak, he's a donkey. So last time we set up this lovely sugarcane collecting system, which has been collecting sugarcane, as you can see here. I've actually been to the shop as well and put more in. And I want to add a quick cactus farm here, as I think that would be really good to get some green dye. Because green dye is actually quite useful. There's some cool blocks you can make, like these Midori blocks here. So green dye is the only one that's really hard to get. The rest of them are quite easy with like Lissy's flower mod and other things you've got. So let's cut to our first time lapse of the day, which hopefully is kind of entertaining. Uh, I'll try and make it entertaining anyway. Let's go, 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 go. Question to you all, how do you make someone building a very basic cactus farm entertaining? The answer, you can't, which is why I've decided to make it really, really short. So the time lapse is now over. Thank you. And look, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Psych, it looks hideous at the moment. Oh, you just saw a bit pop down, which means you'll see it come up here. You ready? <gasps> Exciting. Okay, that was longer than... Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Nice. Goes into here. And as you can see, we've already got one and a bit stacks. I actually put a stack in here, so we've only got 41, which is not bad. I've also made a load of warp scrolls, as you can see in my inventory. So let's go put those in the shop quickly after we put this ring back. Although I'm just going to put it in my backpack as I'm going to be building the nice bit of that soon anyway. Oh my gosh, people have already bought some of the other ones I put in. And there we go. We're keeping the stock up. Oh my gosh, backpacks are getting low. We need to get some more obsidian and unbreaking lassoes at some point but maybe later for now i want this thing to look good i've got a slightly different idea but we're going to keep it in a very similar style to this here lazy beans take it away with an actually entertaining time lapse please oh you don't want to tough you have to now at first i kind of always have like a little glass window showing off the cactus farm but i soon realized it looks hideous so i'm not going to do that instead we're going to change it up a little bit and we've actually ended it in some fan art which i'll show you in a second also we actually moved the staircase from the other side to this side as you can see here and we've added a little bridge across which i think just in general looks a bit better as the staircase before was looking rough and i forgot to time lapse it but i added in this little section in the middle here of the stairs waterlogged and the spruce stripped logs here as well i think that looks really nice kind of separates it up a little bit you know and by the way the cactus this chest here is rolling in Look at it. Look at all the cactus. I love it. Here is the art which got made for us. It is me, except if I was gender swapped. So as you can see, I'm looking very much female. Art by My Empty Brain on Reddit. So thank you for that. If you haven't already, check out my subreddit, r slash smallish beans. The link will be in the description. I'm actually going to be doing a video quite soon on my second channel reacting to some stuff on there. So go post some stuff, upvote some stuff. You know how you do. Also, I'm not sure what's going on, but this must be an alternate reality where I'm in love with chickens as well. Maybe my chicken love swapped over as well, but very, very cool artwork. I love it. This is the new staircase here, as you can see. I've moved this one from here. I've just got rid of it completely. Added this bridge across the center. So you head up here now and you get up here and you can take this lovely little bridge across to the other side. Still not sure what we're gonna put up here yet though. I'm thinking maybe villagers now. I think there should be enough space to have a load of villagers up here, but we're gonna work on that another day as right now, I have an idea because whilst I was building, I noticed something else that was wrong in Jeremyville. Last time, Scott renamed all our animals and I thought that's all he did, rename our animals. Oh no, he did not just rename our animals. He renamed all of our villagers. Look at this, Gertrude, Petal, Diana, Jimbo, Dora, Tiana. Disgusting, disgusting. Now they're all Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, and finally we'll call this one Jeremy. Much better, much better. And now this got me thinking, either you're a Jeremy lover or you're a Jeremy hater. And yesterday, the almighty Jeremy spoke to me. A face appeared in the clouds. I'll, I'll reenact it for you because I wasn't recording at the time. Joel. Huh? Who's that? It is I, Joel. The original Jeremy. The Jeremy. Oh my goodness, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. You are wrong, Joel. You are worthy. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Oh, thank you. You have been good to me, Joel. 
this is why I am asking you to spread the word of Jeremy on the X-Life server. What, what should I do? I want you to start the first X-Life religion, Joel. Jeremyism. You need to write the book of Jeremy and bring other people into the true love of Jeremy. Even Scott? No, of course not. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Good luck, Joel. It is up to you now. So yes, that is right. I've been given orders from the almighty Jeremy. Jeremyville is not enough, although it is the Holy Land. We need to bring other people into the world of Jeremy. Convert to Jeremyism. And what best way to do that than to build the Church of Jeremy at Spawn. So I was trying to decide where this could go because look, Spawn is looking quite cramped right now and it's a decent size. I wanted it high up, but the only really high up space is where the courthouse is, so I can't put it there. So instead, how about our own little island here. I think this would be great for the Jeremyville church. I've come up with a design in my creative world. Let's get building, shall we? Now, this took a decent amount of time to build because it's actually not a tiny church. It's not huge by any means. It's not like a cathedral or anything, but it's not tiny either. And I sort of found a very cool design on Google and I sort of based it off that, although I sort of added a few changes, obviously changed all the blocks, added a few extra things that I designed personally, which I think ended up looking really, really nice. It looks like a church and yeah, it's gonna be the home of the Jeremyvilles. It's where we're going to induct people into Jeremyism, which is honestly quite hard to say. I wish I'd called it something else, but here it is. I also terraformed all the land around it, added a few leaves and stuff, and honestly, I think it's looking really nice. Let me go show you around in a bit more detail. So here it is. I honestly really like it. I think it's looking quite awesome. Shout out to whoever came up with the design on Google because it's basically copied off that because I can't build stuff like this at all. But I'm going to take credit for the J that is on the wall here, although we do have this stuff on here, which looks a bit interesting. I might change that at some point. The entrance is looking really nice. We've got these trap doors and stuff. And inside at the moment, all we've got down is the floor. We still need to fill it all out. We've got a big old glass window up here. We've got the tower. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work in there yet, but... Honestly, I think it looks really good. One of the bigger things in spawn, and it does kind of stand out. If you stand over here, you will notice it. It's quite tall. I think it's actually the tallest. Oh no, the tree house is probably taller. Although it's up there, it's quite tall. Maybe I should just like keep making these spires go really, really big. So I think I'm gonna decorate the inside now. I'll probably just do this off camera really quickly and then show you around as it's not really that big, really. It's not worth time lapsing. Got a couple of ideas. Let's hope they work. Okay, I believe it is done. The Church of Jeremy is up and running and open to all. So as you can see here, we've got a little waystone. We've also got this little shrine to Donkey Jeremy. Oh yes, we, we love Donkey Jeremy. And then inside, it's looking quite nice. We've got a little leafy ceiling here, some lanterns, we've got some candles around. We've got some seats looking lovely. And right at the end, we have a lectern. And in this lectern is the book of Jeremy which is not allowed to leave this church. And this is Jeremyism, the book of Jeremy, written by Smudge Beans as instructed by the one true Jeremy. And we start off with some rules of Jeremyism. Number one, if an animal has been given thy name of Jeremy, it can never be renamed. Number two, no stealing. Number three, you must complete the ceremony to become a follower of Jeremy. We'll get to that later. Number four, you may use the name of Jeremy for your pets. Number five, Scott isn't allowed. Number six, every year you must walk to Jeremyville and pet Donkey Jeremy. He, he gets lonely. Number seven, we don't talk about fight clubs. There you go, seven simple rules of Jeremyism. We've also got the origin story which says the one true Jeremy contacted player Smosh Beans and told him to create the Church of Jeremy. The one true Jeremy appreciates when people rename animals after him and wishes this to spread across the X-Life world. He promises longer lives and rumor has it that there is another life after our 10th, the Jeremy life where we live on through the body of Donkey Jeremy. Jeremy promises to make your lives here on the server much better and bring you some sick, nasty content. So the ceremony, what is that you wonder? Well, I, I don't know yet. We need to think of like some sort of ritual to bring people into Jeremyville. Maybe we should get some pets and they have to rename them with the name tag Jeremy. That could be it, I guess. But I'm really happy with our Church of Jeremy. I'm really hoping that some people sign up to be part of it. We'll have to go on a little recruitment mission at some point. And speaking of Jeremy's, let's head back 
to Jeremyville, as it is time we change these billboards. And I'm actually gonna use the ones from Reddit this episode. Starting with this adorable sign from Freya Malu32 on Reddit. Really love this. Then this amazing one from X Wolfie ZX. My favorite part is where it says no Scots or chickens allowed. <laughs> love that. Very relevant. And finally, this one from Banana Me on Reddit, who made this amazing sign there. Love it. Man, if only I looked like that in real life. So last episode, we left a little book of Whip's house and we said we're gonna meet up with him this episode to see what this village is all about so let's head there now. Hello gentlemen and welcome to Mount Whip. Hmm. Two gentle dudes I was hoping to see here. How's it going? Good to see y'all. Good to see I'm, you too. I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready for a holiday home. Do we get like the best ho homes here? Because you know diamond designs and all that you know brothers, True. brothers in business, brothers in holiday homes. Scott hit me up with the same thing, so I'll give you all. I'll give you all the same what deal he, that. Wait, what, uh, what, he, you what did Scott to? say? I don't know. You know, there's what that whole thing in the Xlife community about SWIP. Have you guys heard of that? I don't, I don't know. The big sellers here are obviously the amenities and everything like that. So inside of this building, um, make sure uh, we try and make sure the doors are closed behind us. Mm -hmm, uh, but mm -hmm. we have all of the leather worker villager trades you could ever need, so they're all in here ready to go. Down below there is a super smelter. If you ever need to borrow it, feel free. Ooh. It's over in the corner. Just throw the goods you need to smelt on the top and then everything pops out in the bottom at the top of this structure here we actually have the masons uh, if you ever need any bricks or quartz or terracottas or whatnot they are kind of all good to go inside of here oh this is uh there's some more cleric villagers that and then up in here uh somebody left in the um with their skeleton <laughs> that's, okay. that's uh, okay i'm gonna put i think that's joey's that's a duplicate one in there but anyways you can throw any mob you want in the ultimate mob farm this entire place over here is full of uh lassos that you might need and everything like that so you're good to Whoa. go pretty much everything oh. you need is there oh. and uh as you can see now since the the mob was left in here these are all uh very Yo. very full oh jeez <laughs> We have some librarians. So we got a nice little library if you like a reading room or whatnot to hang out up above. And then because we have so many librarians on staff, we have them all downstairs oh labeled, ready gosh. to go in the archives. Very nice, very nice. They all have names, right? They all each individual one has a name, right? Yeah, bookshelf boy. This is Bo bookshelf boy. <laughs> bookshelf boy. <laughs> bookshelf boy one. Book boy. <laughs> bookshelf boy one. Fortune three boy one. <laughs> I can give one of them a name if you want. But this one here is now Jeremy. There we go. Jeremy! Oh, now yeah. we have efficiency cool. five, Jeremy. Jeremy. Now we get to tour the units. Woo! Ooh. Woo! They vary on their size on them, so we do offer interior detailing packages as well. There's lots of options in there. Which is the biggest? Yeah. Do you know? Uh, the biggest, one of the biggest remaining ones is probably this unit right here. And then we have some larger ones on the south side of town. All right, Jimmy, I'm taking this one, sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine with me. It's fine with me. And then we do have a bathhouse available up here. You should Lovely. maybe give some rubber bands because that's quite deep there. Jimmy could drown again. So. That it. Wait, let me just test. Let me <laughs> I need get, some floaties. Maybe I can just go here. This is the level <laughs> I can yeah, go that, that's the Maybe Jimmy move up one, then, Jimmy. Uh, up one a little bit. No, he's too, no, the other way. The other way. There maybe there, there, there you go. Nice that's down. all I can do, guys. So, Joel, you guys are you hoping for the basic or the premium? Uh, for you guys I'll, for I think the I'll diamond design. So I'll just go basic. You know, how much is. That's going to be the 40 for the basic. And then if you would. I'm, I'm sure you're going to want to decorate it yourself. Yeah, I'll decorate it myself. Yeah, so it's just 40 in total. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's a trade. That's a trade. Thank you right very much, there. sir. Nice. And there you go. There we go. Perfect. Right. Is it All right. Well, right. I'm happy. You're happy. Everyone's yeah. happy. Good. All right. All right. Thank you both so much. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm going to walk you very well much. back to my See you house. later. Unfortunately, guys, that's all we got time for today. Next time... We'll be decorating our house in Fwip's village and also setting up some more of the base. We need to finish that inner section and work out what we're doing here. Also, we need to spread the word more of Jeremyism. Who do you think we should invite? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.